All right, for this video, we're using alcohol inks on acrylic blanks. It's a bit of a tester video. We're gonna be doing them, mixing them with resin versus Dimensional Magic. I've got three inch acrylics. I've got my UV resin and my Dimensional Magic. Red and green acrylic inks to go with the Christmas ornament themes. My alcohol stamper, some sort of sanding device, some white glitter, and just some mixing containers. I'm just removing the backing that the acrylic comes with. And I'm going to give the acrylic a light sand. I just have these nail blocks. They work fine. It's just to take the sheen off to just get a better adhesion. It's my daughter's hand there. She's going to be helping. See, I just took the shine off of that. And I'm just wiping it down with a bit of alcohol and a microfiber cloth. Add a little bit of the alcohol inks to your stamper. In the end, I did all the dimensional magic in red and all of the resin in green. And just stamp at, at will. The alcohol inks are really buildable and they kind of um, melt into each other, the colors. It's really neat. It's a really, really awesome effect. A little bit of a darker red. And just keep stamping until you're happy with the effect that you have. If you don't like what you've done, you can remove it with a bit of alcohol. This is actually a tiny touch of uh, a sepia brown. I just wanted it for a little tiny bit of dimension. And because they blend so nicely into each other, it actually came out really nice. My daughter was a little bit of afraid of it. The reds now had a few minutes to dry and I'm just going to add my dimensional magic as I would doing any other ornament or keychain.
I do find even with the dimensional magic that adding a little bit of flame does work for the bubbles, but only if they're very high on the surface. But it does help those stubborn bubbles that are a downside to dimensional magic. And I'm just going to set this one aside for a few hours to dry. And we're just going to repeat that process again on the next ornament, and just in green, and that will be the alcohol inks with resin on top. been a few minutes and my ornament has dried and I'm just going to add a layer of resin same idea as I would to any other keychain or ornament So I'm just going to quickly sand this one off. And give it a wipe. So that's a red zone. This one is alcohol inks with dimensional magic. And I dropped the alcohol ink directly into the dimensional magic. I was kind of going for like an acrylic pour type. Um, look like a swirl. I wouldn't recommend this. I'll show you at the end. It was interesting. It almost coagulated the dimensional magic. But everything is worth a try. This was a really fun project to do just, just to you know try a few different techniques and see what worked and what didn't. You can see the lumps there. same idea but with the green and resin. I'm just adding resin to the cup. I'll add a few drops of green and then add it directly to my ornament. No, no. Same idea, not really mixing it in, just kind of like an acrylic pour. I just kind of wanted a swirl idea.
on this one is where I started to deviate from the plan. Originally I was going to put acrylic inks in the Dimensional Magic with glitter, but because the last one I did started to almost coagulate, I decided to stamp it just like the first one uh, because it turned out so pretty. You'll see at the end just how pretty it looks. And then I um, added the glitter, uh, quite a bit of glitter into the Dimensional Magic and put it on the back. So what I'm showing you here is what happened with the alcohol inks in the resin after it's been under the lamp. I'm not sure if it's because I didn't fully mix in the alcohol inks. I was trying to go uh, for like a swirled effect like I would use when I was soaping, um, but it was bumpy. So I, added a, I had to add another layer of resin on top of that. So because of that, I had decided as like the Dimensional Magic, I was just going to do the same sort of thing. I was going to stamp the whole bottom of the ornament and then I was going to put um, a layer of resin with a, with a lot of glitter in it to try to make it more opaque uh, on the back. And it really, really came out um, better than I had anticipated. It's the next day and let's look at some of our results which some were surprising. Um, I decided in the end not to do the one with the acrylic paint in it. I was told you can mix acrylic paint with these and that people do that to get that beach effect. Um, I'm going to try to find the white medium that goes with the alcohol inks. Unfortunately my Michaels looks like the apocalypse has hit it so I'm gonna have to look elsewhere. Okay, so we are all good. So here's just the alcohol inks, just the reds that we used. And this is the reds with the dimensional magic on the back. Got a couple of bubbles there. I um, used the bottom of a bottle and I ended up getting quite a few bubbles, but that's okay, it's just a Christmas ornament. Um, you know, this one turned out just as nice as the resin one, to be honest. It worked really, really well. There's lots of color differentiation in there. Other than my own mistake with the bubbles. Dimensional Magic can get bubbly very easily. The lighter does work to take some of them out. I was working in the dark last night. I guess I didn't get them all. And it's nice and clear. Next one is with the resin. Very similar effect. I did manage to get all the bubbles out of this one though. <laughs> They're both very shiny. Same type of effect, lots of dimension in the coloring. Really, really amazing effect. I have become obsessed with these overnight. 
Now the ones where I mixed it in, I had very strange results. For the Dimensional Magic, it almost made the alcohol inks dry instantly and left almost like a coating. So I wouldn't, you can try mixing the colors separately and then putting them on. I was hoping for like a pour effect and it definitely was a, uh, was a fail. Same thing with the resin. Now there is footage of this and it went ripply. So I added another coating. So I added another coating of the resin and I did manage to correct the ripple. But it did use a lot of, of resin. It was a thin second coating. It is kind of a neat effect though. It has kind of a swirl look to it. These are the ones that I became obsessed with is the glitter ones. I'll show you the resin one first. I used a, uh, just a white holographic glitter and you can see it boosted the color. This one's prettier in person. Just made the colors appear darker and brighter. The Dimensional Magic glitter did not come out as well as the resin glitter and I'm not sure if that's because the Dimensional Magic doesn't allow for the same Ref refractive po uh, properties. You can see they both had tons and tons of glitter in them. But in person I can tell you the the resin glitter is absolutely stunning. So I wouldn't really recommend with the glitter, with the Dimensional Magic, but definitely just over top of the alcohol inks it works just fine. As a, instead of putting the white in it, in order to boost the color, I added a piece of white vinyl on the back. And it really, really boosts the colors. It looks absolutely incredible. I just don't like the look of the back very much. I did... Um, I did add a layer of Dimensional Magic with glue in it to try to, with glitter in it, to try and make the back a little bit prettier. I guess you could add a separate vinyl on the back, but I mean, it looks, the, the front looks absolutely incredible. The colors are so bright and so amazing. So my two favorites are definitely adding the white to the back, although the back isn't as pretty and adding the glitter to the back and I wish you could see it in person because it is really a beautiful look. I'm going to add the vinyl decals to these. I'm going to add a layer of Dimensional Magic and then I'm going to come back and show you the final result. <laughs> 